we're in Lexington starting off the week. Happy Saturday to everybody. And uh, traffic um, is heavy right now, and I don't, don't know why. Look at this restaurant. There's people coming out the door over here. But I was going to show you this building. I showed this to you last week, um, how they're working on it. And they're also working on this building down here. But I don't know why uh, traffic's so bad right now. Maybe there's something going on um, downtown. But I wouldn't think there would be anything going on this early. Yeah, I mean, tall line or something. Yeah, you never know. But they're working on this building, and it's it's uh, getting taller. Do you know how tall it's supposed to be when they're finished with it? Is it supposed to be the tallest building down here when they're finished? I don't know. They've changed their plans so many times. I don't I don't know. Uh, there are people working up there right now. There's people up there. Is that a Christmas tree on the... A Christmas tree where? On top of that crane. Uh, yes, there is a Christmas tree on top of the crane. I thought there was. Decorated, I don't right. know if you all let me try to zoom in yeah there is a Christmas tree on top of the crane and it is <laughs> April so well, you don't want to carry that down yeah and you don't want to just like knock it off in the night <laughs> <laughs> like into the road here's your Christmas tree but it's gonna be a tall building. It would be interesting to see if it was gonna be taller than the other ones. It's gonna be uh, a gonna look like. office space, right? right? Office the... space and hotel, um, apartments, right? There's a picture of what it's gonna look like. Here's a picture. We're it gonna... doesn't look as tall as the blue building next to it. We're at the cemetery today, and we're here for the tulips. Windy day. It's a windy day, and it is supposed to, um, it's supposed to rain in just a few hours. Uh, that's why we came over here. Um, I told Kevin, I said, we need to go on and go, because if we wait another week, they're gonna all be gone. Orange. Yeah, there's some orange there's tulips, okay. yeah. And there's oh, some- I thought it was a big batch of right orange. So, yeah, if we wait another week, all of these tulips are going to be gone. Yeah, the rain and winds might blow all well, the petals off today. They might. They, they might. Because they're pretty open right now. Those are beautiful. Those weren't tulips. No, they didn't. They're, they're very, the flowers are very open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Those weren't tulips, so we'll see if the two. I hope they're still here. We're over at Mom's grave and they are gonna have a funeral later on today because they've dug all this up and they have the um, the uh, what is that called canopy oh, yeah. um, and then here's mom right here and I don't see any new ones right off new monuments but Kevin's really good at spawning them <laughs> and I don't know because we it's only been a couple weeks since we were last here but I see some people have planted some flowers back here. Those are pretty. It does look like there's some more in here. See that Riddell one, that yeah. tall one? Right next to that one looks new. So I think that one's new. It's definitely filling in over here. Yeah, it sure is. And there's so many with pictures on them. Like before, you would never see pictures on anybody's, and now there's all kinds with pictures. And even over here, there's pictures. A few weeks ago when we were here at the cemetery, see mom is buried right over there. And across from her is this pond. And a few weeks ago, I told you that there was a kid that he came in the cemetery when they were closed, he wasn't supposed to be in here and he got in this pond and he couldn't get back out so he drowned so what they've done is they put water back in here and it looks like there's not 
near as much water as there used to be because I I never I don't remember seeing or maybe they built this edge I was gonna say I don't remember seeing this edge at all this ugly black edge and I was thinking maybe the water covered it but now I'm thinking maybe they built that so that if you get in there you can get back out um, but they have put this light, uh, these lights up here and that I'm sure come on at night. So you can see that there's a pond here and they put this life preserver ring here. And I forgot my camera muff. Um, well, I didn't realize that, that we would be coming over here so I didn't bring it. So if the wind's bad, I'm sorry. But they are really covering their butts because they're putting this, this lights here so you can see at night and this life preserver ring. I mean, that's good. I think it's wonderful that they've done this. However, I think it's a shame that they had to worry about it so much and probably spend a lot of money when that kid came in here and he wasn't supposed to be in here. You know, he came in at a time where they were closed and you can hear the the geese um they're talking uh you know he was in here at a time that he wasn't supposed to be in here and yet they're having to um worry about doing all this uh work so now on down the way on the other side of this pond there's another one of those light posts another light post and i swear and it looks like a call box or something see do you see this there's a there's some kind of black paw right there do you see that no emergency call box that's what i'm saying right there there's do you see it the do you see too. it in the camera there's another one on yeah the there's side. another light pole on the other side one of those boxes. yeah and it's a light i can't imagine it, no that right there is like some kind of call box yeah. and I wonder then if they're gonna get ready to fill this back up then and this is what we're here for, it are all these tulips. And it looks like uh, other people are here too. Um, these are beautiful, I love seeing them. Ashley makes fun of me because she says, it's the same thing every year, it's the same tulips. But I don't care because it's beautiful. It's like a mixed in some whatever those are. Yeah, that's what was up there when we first came in. Yeah, they look like it. The stems and the bottoms of our tulips. But... So, if you wait until after it rains today, you're going to get more that look like this. That bed's pretty empty, isn't it? It is. That's another bed right there. Yeah, very empty. Imagine being in Holland seeing the whole field full. I would love, I would love that. Has yes. You see these little girls up here running through them? It's hard to believe that mom and dad would bring Jennifer and I over here and we were the little kids, you know, running around. Uh, I don't think there's anything in it today. No. It looks ugly compared to years past. Yeah. And then it feels really good out here. That's the good thing is it's it's nice weather. It's not hot right now. Always like this purple. These over here, and they're smaller too. That's always like the color. Of them. These people over here are like bird watching, which I haven't seen before out here. I haven't seen people bird watching, but maybe they're part of a class. You never know. There could be a, a class uh, with the University of Kentucky or something where they come out here and they uh, bird watch. But uh, Kevin noticed that this tree's getting its little buds, on it. buds on it. 
This is a good angle to take a picture too because you're down a little bit. I think I've taken some pictures. I'm sure you have. I like these down here. Because there's a bunch of different colors. Yeah. You can't see Henry through the trees. You can go, Kevin. Uh, where's Henry? Henry Clay is right through there. I don't know if you could see him or not. But Kevin and I were having an interesting conversation and uh, I thought I would let you all chime in on it. We were talking about, how did we start? We were, oh, I know what I was saying. I was saying that our kids will never come visit us. I said that when we are when we die and when we're buried, they will never come see us. They'll never visit our grave. And here's the, the last of the tulips. We're leaving. I'm going to show you these out the door and then I'll roll up the window. There they are. So I was saying that our kids will never come visit us at the cemetery. And uh, that, and Kevin was saying, what how, what were you saying? That I it's, said I bet 99% of the graves don't get Of the visited. people in the cemetery, you could have gone. You could still go. No, I can't go. There's a lot of cargo. It's kind of hard to get out of here sometime. Yeah. Uh, but he said that probably 99% of the people in the cemetery, that their graves are never visited. And he was talking about, like, with my mom. My, uh, and, and I'm not downing anybody, but I'm just being honest here. I don't think anybody regularly visits my mom except for me. My dad might come. I don't know. I don't ask him about it. I don't, I don't want to upset him or bring up bad memories or bad, you know, because it was good memories when they were married, but bad memories because of her death, because she died. So my dad might come to see my mom. I don't know. But I know, um, my aunt doesn't come regularly, and my sister doesn't come regularly, and so I'm the only one that I know of that comes. So Kevin was saying that, you know, once I die, Andrew and Ashley are not going to come, and Andrew and Ashley are not going to come visit our graves. I know that. They have, Ashley's made it abundantly clear. Yeah, that's not something she, she thinks it's morbid. She thinks it's very morbid, even though we have raised her to go to the cemetery we've raised her that way she still thinks it's very morbid but like for your mom we go but andrew and ashley don't no and gavin and Mega definitely aren't going to come no. because they don't even know who she is so right why would they go right so, so I the further be... away you go from that one generation the the less and less people are going to visit the grave that's what i'm right. saying right and like my grandmother scott my grandmother scott died that's my mom's mom she died when i was in second grade and and that cemetery is right across the street from the one that we just left. Uh, but I very rarely visit there. I mean, yeah, I probably only visit there every few years. Uh, just because she died. I loved her more than anything. But she died when I was in second grade. So it's not like it's a prominent memory like my mom, of course. Uh, so, but I just think, um, I don't know. I think. I would like to know how many of you ha visit the cemetery. How many of you visit the cemetery? If, if you've had somebody die, that you visit your relatives? Or do you think like Ashley, do you think like it's just morbid and you don't want to go? Does it make you too sad to go? Uh, because uh, one, of, one of our friends that lives in our town, her, her dad, she just lost her dad not that long ago. And she never understood why uh, Jennifer and I, my, that's my sister, she never understood how we could go to the cemetery and how we could like eat or, or you know, enjoy the flowers or enjoy the beauty of it. She just didn't understand that until her dad died. And now that her dad's died, I think she understands that it's a place where you can go and get away from destructions and it's quiet and it it is beautiful um 
and so I think she has a respect for it now that maybe she did not that she disrespected it but she just didn't understand and I think she understands now so how many of you think that you'll go to the cemetery or that you don't go to the cemetery at all I'm just very curious and here's Mr. Lincoln I've showed you Mr. Lincoln before a long time ago where are we going um, I don't know if we were going to go to Walmart so we're at the big Walmart in Lexington and we hit the jackpot on the chili cow. Um, they have mint, graham squirrel, cookies and cream, brownie batter, caramel, peanut butter and cookie dough. So we bought two of some of each of these and we're going to be trying them. Uh, but they had a lot here. Our buggy is full again of ice cream. I don't know where we're going to put it all. Uh, but they had quite a bit to choose from. So, and I think we've gotten all the new uh, Ben and Jerry's. They had the two new uh, blue buttons. Yeah, they had a lot here. Very, very pleased today. So it was supposed to rain all day, but it didn't. So I have come out on the porch and it's that time of year again where I wanna sit out here where it's nice enough to play games on the porch, but it's actually really, really filthy. So yeah, look how filthy that is. Like, and it's deep, deep, deep. So I'm going to clean this up and then Kevin and I will actually get to play something. We'll get to use this table. So this is what we decided to play because the wind, um, the wind has picked up a little bit because we were supposed to get storms all day today. Um, we decided to play Blockus because we're worried about playing cards. So Kevin's going to be blue and I'm going to be red, of course, because I'm always red, except when we're playing with Gavin. And Gavin has insisted that red belongs to him when it really doesn't. So it belongs to Nanny. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, with two people, it's too easy. So we just tied because we just played two colors. We played four colors before. It's a little harder than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and get the cards and we're going to play some rummy instead because the wind's not as bad as we thought it would be. So it has started raining, but it's a light rain and the wind hasn't picked up. So it's not like it's raining in, uh, on the table out here on the porch. Um, it's a little chilly. Are you chilly at all? No? Mm -hmm. So the score right now is 365 me to 390. Ignore the super glue. I need to buy it. Kevin needs to get some more of that at the store, so I'll have to move that to a new list. But that's where we're at right now. We normally try to go to 500. That's why it's called 500 Rummy. So we're uh, Kevin's counting his cards. I'm at uh, 455. 155. Yeah, 155. Yeah. I think that's what you call smoking you there. Yeah, I think Kevin won 500 rummy. And we're going to go inside now because it's been raining and it's gotten kind of cool outside. How does it feel to, to beat me? Happens all the time when you do Oh, stuff. oh, thank you. Thank no, most of them actually lose. So. Well, Joanna asked me a question during a, uh, uh, asked me a question uh, in a comment. And she wanted me to answer it during a vlog, so I'm going to answer it right here so that I don't forget. Uh, she said, Tammy, could you explain in a vlog how do you find music for your videos and how you do it? Not that I want to do it myself as I haven't got a YouTube channel, but I'm really curious to know if the songs are a random pick or not and why you've used the same techno song for, for most of your videos over the years. I think the one she's referring to is... It gets, it gets good. Hold on, right here. Anyway. <laughs> I know that song drives people, uh, some people nuts. And um, a lot of people are like, um, why do you use that song? And um, something like, it doesn't seem like it's your kind of music, or she didn't say that, but I'm just saying I've had people say that. Uh, very few people have complained about it, but some people have complained about it. And it, it actually is my kind of music. I did pick it out because I liked it. That's why I picked it out. 
there is a you can type in uh, free music free YouTube music and um, uh, what's it called something free music um, anyway you can type that in on Google and um, it will come up with a website that you go to and uh, you can pick out lots and lots and lots of songs. Well, I chose that one uh, be just because I like it a lot and I put it at the end of all the videos. And if you visit Kevin's Lunch Time Review Channels, that is what is still at the, the bumper. At the very end of the videos, that's what's there is that song. Just because um, I like it and no one ever complained about it on Kevin's channel. Uh, but they just complained about it on my channel. I even had people say that it drove them so crazy that they couldn't watch my videos at all. And to that, I was like, well, you can tell when the end's coming. I always say, thanks for watching or see you next time. Just turn it down, you know. But I had people that were very, very passionate about that music. I do not know why because I still like it. So, I have started using... that it reminded them of like a Cranberries type song, which when they told me that, it's like, oh yeah, well that's perfect. I love the Cranberries, uh, the music group. And um, so anyway, um, so I've used that. It is easier for me to have set songs chosen for the end of the video rather than be like, okay, what am I gonna put at the end of this video? What am I gonna put at the end of that video? So it's easier for me when that one song was driving, the first song, when that was driving people so crazy, it's like, okay, that's fine, I'll change it. This one, I have no intention of changing it. Um, if you're wondering what the clicking is, Kevin is sitting next to me playing some game. I have no idea what it is, but he's playing a game. And there's a lot of there's a lot of clicking. So anyway, um, so the songs are free and how do I find them? I just did a search for them. Also, YouTube offers free music. Now, when I use those two songs, I have to put a little music credit in my description. YouTube has free music and when you use that music from YouTube, you don't have to put like what the song is at all. Um, let me see where, okay, so I have a folder where I put, um, like no credit needed, um, hold on, let me pick out a better one. This is a really good one. And that's upbeat. That's very upbeat, and I think one that you really like, Joanna, that I put that during one of the cooking videos, and you said you really like that. But some songs, I just, I don't know. I, I think that some things that I'm, uh, if I'm cooking something, some things seem lighter, some things seem like they need a little bit more bass. If I'm cooking something, I might pick something a little lighter, whereas if Kevin is making something, I might pick something a little bassier. It just, it would make sense to nobody else, but for some reason, it makes sense to me. Um, and there are a lot of songs that I have used before that somebody's like, the music doesn't match with what you're doing at all. Well, for, for me, it made sense for me. And so anyway, it's just, it's just my choice. And um, I can go to YouTube and there's all kinds of, of other songs that they have that I've never even looked at. I'm sure there's hundreds and hundreds of them. The problem with most of them on YouTube is that they're shorter. So like they're a minute long and some of the clips I want five or six minutes worth of music. You know, if I'm doing a store tour and I can't talk because the music is so loud, like in Home Goods a lot of times, um, that might be a 15 minute video. So I might need a lot of music for that. So it just, um, they're not a random pick. 
I pick them. I pick the any music that you hear in my videos, be it um, uh, if it's a review, if it's us baking something, if it's us doing a store tour or putting something together, it's because I've chosen it. So I hope that that helps and answers your question. I hope you all can see this through the camera. It is snowing. And I mean, not just a little bit of snow. That is some snow. Uh, it won't uh, accumulate. It won't do anything because it won't like stick to the road or anything because it's, I think it's too warm. Wednesday, today's Monday. Wednesday, it's supposed to get up like in the 70s. And Kevin and I will probably be going for a walk. And so it's funny that today, Monday, it looks like this. So yeah i had to show it to you because it looks kind of funny seeing the green grass and the green on the trees and and then snow we have a box this box should be from liz uh liz in ohio she uh took a trip to las vegas and she asked me is there anything that you would like from las vegas and i said well i have I said, I have never tried Sugar Fina. So I know in those hotels, I know those in those hotels in Vegas, there are a lot of um, just little like shops that you can go in. So I said, if, if Sugar Fina, I've heard a lot about Sugar Fina and we've never had it before and I know it's expensive. Oh my goodness. And I said, if, you happen to see a sugar fina shop i would like just a just a small little bit that's not expensive because i know it's expensive so i was thinking if you could like you know like these candy stores they have like jelly belly on the walls and you can pick out like um uh, a fourth of a cup or a cup of jelly bellies and then they weigh it and it doesn't cost you that much so i was thinking if sugar fina had a shop she could do the same small. thing get something small well Apparently, they didn't have much of a selection, so Liz, <laughs> being the kind person that she is, she went online and she ordered us uh, some sugar fina, and um, her last name is on here, so they did put a uh, tag on here. They actually wrote Elizabeth, so um, I don't want to say her last name. I've said it in videos a long time ago, but... Um, Sugar Fina, a luxury candy boutique, and you open the cart. I don't know if I take that off, will, will you be able to get it back on there? Because I want to take a picture of it like that. Candy for grown-ups, it says. Sugar Fina candy is special. We work with small artisan candy makers around the world to create the most beautiful and delicious treats you've ever tasted, like... Champagne gummy bears made with Dom Perignon vintage champagne. That is the that is how I've heard of Sugar Fina is because their champagne gummy bears were supposed to be like the best ever. I'm assuming that's what these little samples are. Um, chocolate covered kumquats from Greece. Fruit jellies made with fresh Italian lemons. Most of our candies are exclusive to Sugar Fina and can't be found in any other candy store. Treat yourself to the finest collection of candies in the world. It's uh, Rosie and Josh Sugar Fina co-founders. So that is what it says inside this card. Now, we're going to have to stop for a second and let you take a picture because I don't know if I can get that back on. Okay, and then we'll we come back it. and we'll show you what's in the box because I want to know what's in the box. Okay, we're back. I took my picture. You might have to just untie it. I don't you might be able to pop it off yeah. we may be able to get it back on but i didn't want to take a chance no and and for the video you know i never know for the video what kind of picture <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> aren't you pretty no you need to do it like this there. A little headband. yeah yeah make it into a little headband that's that's what he needs isn't it we <laughs> What's his name that does the karate? You think yeah. he, you think he would wear Chuck Norris? You think Chuck Norris no. would have been one of those? No, maybe Karate Kid. I smell. Oh my gosh. It's cool. Oh my goodness. It looks like a science kit. Oh my <laughs> goodness. It smells good. 
Oh, and it says what they are on top. That's cool. Oh, I can't even imagine how much this cost her. Oh my goodness. Um, wow. Each uh, little box uh, is labeled. And it's in foam, so it doesn't move. These are uh, pink diamonds. It says flavored with sweet strawberries. These all natural 10 karat gems are fit for a princess made in Germany. Um, I'm going to tell you what is in here and then when we do the review, you can go to I will read each thing. Yeah. Yes. This is so special. Okay. We have pink diamonds, pale L pints, and those actually look like, um, beer, beer. Uh, then we have birthday cake caramels baby whales or blue. and <laughs> uh, PB and J caramels, that sounds good. peanut butter milkshake. Liz knows that we like mm -hmm. peanut butter. I'm sure she got to pick which one. Oh yeah, she, she did. Yeah. Princess pearls and apple pie. And I love how it's, it's boxed because yeah, what can I do? yeah it's, it's in like a, a foam. Yeah. A foam and they cut it. And so it sticks, it sticks down in there and that that is the packaging alone is uh stick wonderful so i guess these are free the, samples probably they're champagne bears probably because that's what uh that's we'll have what to i have cut in right. half or something to try them out thank you i mean really really uh when you ask me about what i would like to try from vegas you were expecting oh five dollars something small yeah. you know at the most 15. Uh, but this, I can't even imagine how much uh, this cost. Uh, this is so uh, incredible that you did this. Thank you very, very, very much. I appreciate it. Um, so, review coming soon. I found another BuzzFeed quiz that I thought I would try. This one says there's no way a non-Canadian will be able to pass this quiz. So, we will see if I will pass this quiz. What does a double-double have to do with? A double-double. I would say coffee. Uh, select the correct usage of A. How are you doing, A? Eh? It's nice here, A. Eh? My A is not as good as yours. A, eh, it's cold outside. It's nice here, A. Eh? What is a loony? A coin, a drink, a type of sandwich, a type of dance. Um, I thought a loony was a person. <laughs> a loony, uh, also a type of sandwich. Oh man, so that was the first one I missed. It's a coin. So the other ones I got right. I didn't even realize I was getting those right. Uh, during what month is Victoria Day? I have no idea. I'll say May. Ah, I got that right. Hey, how do Canadians pronounce the word about? About. 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 Up. Oh, they say, which is a correct synonym for washroom? Um, a washroom is a restroom. What is a toque? A type of sweater, a jacket style, a hat, a type of shoe. Took a hat. Oh my gosh, I got that right. <laughs> I, that was a complete guess. And finally, what's better, Canadian KD or American Kraft Mac and Cheese? Well, I'll say KD because it's Canadian. Yeah. I got six out of eight. You're probably Canadian. Either you're Canadian or doesn't know, know some of the country's key phrases or an American who has a great amount of Canadian knowledge. Either way, good job. So I did a good job on that. But some of those, like this, was a complete guess. I don't know that I would get that right if I took it for a second time. I don't know that I would remember it. So here's more of the weather. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> Looking outside. It's not it'll only. Stop and it'll yeah, it stops and starts. And not only is it snowing, but it's like the wind's blowing. So it just looks crazy out there. It's uh it looks it looks like it's it's mad or something. It's I hope you can see it through the camera. So Kevin is working on a Marvin the Martian, and this is what it's gonna end up looking like. Do you know how tall it'll be? Mm, no. 
pretty, it's going to be a good size, ball. isn't it? That's yeah, all. About that um, so it. Yeah, I wanted to show this to you because you can see this is like those. You know, Kevin likes to do those uh, metal earth kits, yeah, and they're busy. they're flat pieces of metal, and then he has to fold them. And those you don't glue. No, no, no. You but now you put, tab, put it in tabs and bend them. But now this. Yeah, you glue You all glue this. this. Yeah. And is this the glue you're going to use? Yeah. Tacky, tacky turbo tacky glue. Yeah, you want it to dry fairly fast. So, but yeah, for like this one, this is going to... That's I, like his little skirt. Um, maybe. But it goes... You're going to glue all those little tabs to the underside of that. So it makes a... It ends up being... Like that. Like a little... It might be his hat or something. I don't know. Oh. I, don't know what it might be. I, I thought don't know. it was that thing. Didn't he have that around his waist? Uh, it's a different color, isn't it? I thought it was green around his waist. Yeah. Yeah, but that's different. See how wide and spread out this is? This is a curve like his helmet. Oh. Huh, we'll see. Yeah, I'm I pretty sure it's a curved helmet. So this is just one sheet. Um, but yeah, but see, I've got all these parts. Right, he's already cut out. See, there's all like his, the helmet thing. Okay. The brush on the top, but then you got all this stuff. So, I think that's going to be like the skirt. So he might, he, he probably won't start gluing it. I don't know during this vlog. We'll see. If he, doubt if he starts on it this week, then you'll see it in this vlog. If not, then this is just the start of it. And I wanted to show you something that, that he's working on. Alicia, thank you very, very much for the coupons and the box tops. She sent me coupons for, sorry, we don't. Click, click, click. Um, she sent me coupons for some Nature Valley bars, which I will use, and some of the Hershey's Gold. Save a dollar when you buy any two Hershey's Gold candy bars. Um, I will use those. I have actually been eating one of those every single night for a snack. I've really been enjoying it a lot. Um, and then this one is from Brock, and I don't have a clue what it is. So I'm going to try to be... Um, careful opening it. Brock lives in Nebraska. And let's just see. Oh, I'm glad I was careful opening that because there's like an envelope and it's like literally right there. Okay, so we have an envelope and something here. And it sounds like it was breakable. This, the, the envelope says, isn't this better than a text? Yes, this is better than a text. Although a lot of people would disagree, I think this is better than a text. Sending you happy thoughts today. Tammy, I was at World Market and thought of you when I saw this. I believe it's a plate for a spoon when you have tea. I'm sure it would look good on a shelf or wherever you want to put it. As always, I enjoy your channel. Take care for us. Let's see. World Market. We still have not been to World Market. I love that. I absolutely love that. And yes, I think that is a spoon rest too. And you can put it on your stove or anywhere as a spoon rest. I I love this. And I thank you so much for thinking of me. Um, I don't have anything like this, so I really appreciate it. I want to say thank you to Stacy. She sent us a gift certificate for uh, Blue Apron. She actually gave us $60 for Blue Apron. And Blue Apron is like a food service like, uh, what is that other one that's really popular, Kevin? Uh, that comes to your house. Anyway, Blue Apron, um, she was able to send us a gift card for them because all they needed was our email address to send me the, the certificate. So that was so nice of you, Stacy. I really appreciate it. And I wanted to tell you all, we went to a military surplus place today in town. We've never been there before. I wonder now that I'm thinking about it, if they have any of those in Lexington. Because you know, we live in a small town. If they have one, if they have one here, they're likely to have one in Lexington too. But the reason we went is because for a long time, uh, you all have been telling us that we should try an MRE. So, this was the only one. Actually, they had two of these. And uh, so, we bought, bought one of them because uh, they were both the same thing. This is the low reduced sodium uh, 
meal and this is the vegetable lasagna so I have never had an MRE in my life but I think it will be interesting and if you can see in the bag there's a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop or not a Tootsie Pop a Tootsie Roll um, but I just think that's gonna be a lot of fun and if we can we will try to get Andrew in on that video because Andrew's actually had MREs and Andrew knows how to uh, do them <laughs> and there's a lot of little like envelopes in there and Kevin and I have no idea how to do any of it so um, yeah hopefully uh, we'll be able to get him in on that uh, review and Kevin's looking at the mail this week Kroger has been having these Saturday only deals for a while and so this week uh, this Saturday at Kroger they have a 99 cent cereal I think it's Kellogg cereal or 99 cent Nutri-Grain bars and you can get up to five so I doubt very seriously we will get any cereal because we don't eat a lot of cereal, uh, but we will probably get the five Nutri-Grain bars because those are usually, I tell Kevin, they're about 120 calories and they're, they're a low calorie bar that it's just nice to have them up in the cabinet. So I love the blueberry and the cherry. Hopefully I can get those. Um, Kellogg's. Oh, Kellogg cereal. Yeah, I'll show you the ad. Yeah, here is the ad. Saturday only and so yeah you all will be seeing this after the fact <laughs> but you'll have seen my grocery haul so you'll know if I got my five Nutri-Grain bars hopefully um, hopefully I got them and I, I actually haven't shown you an ad in a long time I can show you an ad while we're here cookies I think a couple weeks ago though they had one of those Saturday deals I'm thinking they had cookies but we don't need any cookies $3.99 Ben and Jerry's that's a really good deal um, and these bars that's probably good too I don't know we don't buy those bars so let's look at the back real quick strawberries and watermelon normally we Kevin likes to uh, buy watermelon and stuff to snack on but I don't know that he'll want to buy any this early in the year usually he waits until later on um, later on in the summer to enjoy stuff like that to make sure it's good and ripe so that looks like that's it for the Kroger ad but so hopefully you all knew about this and got it I think it's a coupon on your phone and you have to like yeah, you have to download the coupon. It says that. So you have to download the coupon to be able to get it. Um, but that's a good deal. And what's this one? Fresh Homestyle Ground Beef Patties. Yeah, we prefer, um, you know, you can buy them pattied. We prefer to patty our own. Um, and Kevin bought that hamburger press. Um, we washed it. This is what it looks like. He bought this at... Um, at Meyer, and all we've done is washed it and I didn't know how it went back together so I just stuck it all in here so I don't know how it works oh Kevin's gonna show us when you use this you're gonna have to show us how it works the, just where do you put the meat where does the meat go okay so your meat goes in here and you fill it up to the top or however, or, however half pound or quarter pound or whatever size hamburger you want it would be it nice there. if it told you somehow and you mush if it measured it like how much yeah. it, wouldn't that be nice but see this is made to where you can put fillings in it so if you take that off you put like if you're doing a, a half pound burger you uh -huh. put a quarter of it in there mush it to where it's got this dent in the middle uh -huh. put cheese or onions or whatever you want peppers or whatever you want in there uh -huh. and then you put the regular one on and then you put the rest of your hamburger on the top and you mush it flat on the top. So it fills your burger supposedly. I right. don't know how well it'll work. But 
I wonder if they make one that has different sizes that tells you, you know, this is like a this measurement size. Part. I don't yeah, know. that I would be nice. I think if you weigh it though, that's probably the most accurate. Right. We looked on the internet and we found out that the MRE that we just bought is a civilian MRE. So we got suckered. Yeah, we got suckered. The woman specifically told us that out that there, was a surplus military one. Yeah, she told us that and we paid eight fifty for that. So I'm hoping... They should have told us that it wasn't military. <laughs> wow, aren't they about that price? No, they're about $13 a piece. Depending on how you buy them. Yeah. Well, I've had a lot of requests to try MREs. Um, throughout the years and so um i'm hoping that you all will still be interested in that civilian one even though we you know we got the wrong one i'm hoping some of you will watch it <laughs> if you're um, a prepper or, or if you just want to have meals for hunting trips or something like that they're really good for camping you know these are easy to get supposedly well so what we're gonna do since we bought that one by mistake we're actually kevin has gone on amazon and he has found and i've I, seen these on can amazon can i show before. this show my none of our here. account information's on no. present. <laughs> so these are a little expensive they're 87.50 but you get 12 and they have a 2018 um, inspection date so that's good um but you get one of two boxes you either get a case a or a case b and i'm gonna scroll down so case A is meals one through twelve. I can turn it. So you get either chili with beans, I mean just the main thing, uh, shredded barbecue beef, chicken with noodles, spaghetti with meat sauce, diced chicken, which sounds lovely, um, beef taco filling, beef brisket, meatballs and marinara, beef stew, chili and macaroni, vegetarian taco pasta and spicy penne pasta that's box a mm -hmm. and then box b could have cheese tortellini ratatouille right ratatouille mexican style chicken stew boneless pork rib maple sausage beef ravioli and meat sauce jalapeno pepper jack beef patty sounds interesting um which is cherry and blue cobbler someone said in the comments that was like their favorite dessert Hash brown potatoes with bacon, lemon pepper tuna, please no. Um, Asian style beef strips with peppers, um, chicken pesto pasta, and Southwest beef and black beans. Well, out of those, I think I'd rather have box A, but you don't have a choice. They, they randomly oh, pick a box. Oh, you don't have a choice. They randomly pick a box, probably whatever uh, they have. Okay. I mean, maybe you can put a request in for box A if they have it, but but I, I don't know. I'll see. So Do anyway, you see this that is what we're comment? Gonna do. Would chicken or beef be a better option for zombie apocalypse survival? Somebody said the mildly putrefied flesh of a thousand geriatric virgins would be the ideal meat for zombie apocalypse. You know, these um, comments that people write are absolutely so funny. If you are ever interested in buying, this lighting looks yellow. I guess from being at the computer to now, it looks very yellow. Um, if you're ever so interested, said, please don't ask stupid questions. If you're ever interested in buying anything, even if it's like a vacuum cleaner, a coffee pot, anything, you should always get on Amazon and read the comments because they're so interesting. Because people have bought this stuff, and it, it's just interesting to hear what they have to say. Do you see the cat behind me? Yes, we get the cat. Um, so. How much is that? You get someone said that you could actually search for case A or case B. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Which one out of those? Yes. Which case would you'd rather have? Case I'd rather have a? case A because it has more regular meals. The other one had like some breakfast stuff and had tuna. It had in it. a lot of breakfast. It had tuna in it too. Yeah, but it probably tastes just like tuna out of a. I bet you anything. It's the package of like uh, star kiss. Yeah, but I don't want to eat that. <laughs> He's reviewed those before on his lunch and review channel, no, no. like Buffalo style. And uh, because somebody said that they really liked it and I won't call her out, but she said she really liked it. So I told Kevin, I said, so-and-so said she really likes this. So you need to try it on your lunchtime review. So he tried it and he, he did not like it one bit. So do you want to see if we can get the cat to talk to us? Hello, Jabble. Hello. Yeah, did you say hi? Huh? Did you say hi? Huh? Are you comfortable? Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad.
He stuck his face right up in the camera. I got some good stuff in the mail today that I wanted to show you, share with you. I got two things that I remembered ordering and one thing that I do not remember ordering at all. But I must have because I got it. Um, I got uh, Mr. Men Chinese New Year. And this is a new story. I cannot wait to read this. I also got a Little Miss Inventor. She is uh, the newest Little Miss um, in the collection. And then this is the one that I do not remember ordering at all. But, like I said, I must have. I love Julia Donaldson. Um, I think Julia Donaldson books are uh, terrific. And I've read about half of this. This is the author of The Gruffalo, so I have read a bunch of her books. Um, I read like half of it to Gavin when he was over here. And then he was outside, so then, you know, he wanted to play. It wasn't like story time. It was just that Nanny had got these in the mail. But it, this, uh, from what I read, is really, really, really cute. Um, so I will be reading all three of these. Uh, look at that guy with his tongue sticking out. Um, I will be reading all three of these for my channel, but that is my happy mail for today. And Kevin, do you want to tell where you went today? I had to read Yeah. <laughs> Kevin's making, he's making us some coffee. It wasn't bad. It was, uh, it was determining if people, the kids, once they turned 18, if they, uh, um, if they're mentally sound enough to make their own financial and personal decisions, basically. So, you know, you have somebody with... <laughs> Excuse plus, me. You have somebody with Down syndrome that can't really, they don't even communicate or talk or anything. Um, in the state of Kentucky, you have to have a juror, just jury decide whether that person's fit or not. So, that, that's what I've done today. And making coffee. And coffee. Come home and made coffee immediately. So. But uh, this is just, I love getting books in the mail. Oh, this, I no, I don't remember ordering that at all. But this, this is my, have, my favorite mail to get in the world is like uh, Mr. Man books. You because know what we might have? Because it may have popped up as a, order these and get, you can get this one for $5 or whatever. And, and we may have done that. Yeah, see, I, said, oh, I, like I yeah, I do like her a lot. I just do not remember ordering that at all. But so look for that. That'll be cute. Look at this, Tyrannosaurus drip. I've never heard of that one either. So Kevin is mowing the yard now after his jury duty, and I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here for the week, um, just with him mowing the yard. Gavin and Amelia and Andrew and Christina came over earlier today and Gavin said he loved Ashley more and I said why do you love her more and he said uh, I said I gave you food and he said yeah but she gave me chocolate milk so I thought that was his little funny thing for the week I do not know what Kevin is stepping on out there it's like he's found he's found something oh okay there's the drain there so it's a pretty day. If you're standing in the sun, it feels really, really good. If you're up on the porch, it's okay. It's not bad. It's it's warm today. So, but like I said, I'm gonna end the vlog here for the week, and uh, then we'll uh, we'll start uh, tomorrow with a new week.